Okay, so what are we doing first? Daphne! I'm fine with doing Daphne. Alright, I mean, we'll I'm, Daphne. I'm disappointed because it's th all me. I'm gonna be doing nothing but speaking. Do you want us to take one of them off your hands each? Yes. Oh, or should I we mean, just wait until we get there? Maybe see. wait till we get there because we. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there might be more. We'll probably pick up somebody along there. Yes. Ancred? Ancred. The cutscene. Oh, we might have to turn off. Turn off auto advance. We'll have to turn that off. Oh, I skipped the first one. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the button. Ready when you are, Corey. Corey? Corey? Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! His string just dropped. Oh, oh no! Uh... Oh, we just started it. Hello, are you still there? <laughs> Hello. Hi. I'm. I'm... Can... Wait, you guys can hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Oh, really? My stream is still. Ah! <gasps> <laughs> don't tell me you got kicked out of the game. Please don't tell me you got kicked, kicked out. I just got kicked out of the game. No! <laughs> oh no. No! My, my no! stream is still down though. That's why I, I didn't think that. I didn't think I was back. No! Why would this happen now of all times? Well, if I try to get back into the game, it's just gonna kick me again. Yeah, see, see uh, how you go. Larissa and Only I are 21 in Q. We, we would have Only to 21 in Q. Out. Oh, okay. Only 20? Oh, thank Christ! Oh my <laughs> god. I was like, if that pops up and it's like a few hundred or a couple thousand, I'm gonna lose it. Yes. A few hundred wouldn't have been too bad. A few thousand would have. <laughs> okay, and is my stream fine? Stream looks fine. Okay. Stream looks fine, yeah. Okay, back into the cutscene. <laughs> <sighs> that was almost a disaster. Oh my. I have Kryle's uh. instructions in hand. If you are ready to set out, <laughs> then so are we. <laughs> oh my god. Having been to Thafnir before, I can travel by Aetherite. But what of the rest of you? Another sea voyage would waste time we do not have. Kryle was of the same mind and has already secured the aid of the good folks of the Confluence. We'll take ourselves there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> oh the no. Confluence, thou sayest. What, Uri? What? I'm afraid so, my friend. Oh, God. What don't we know? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, what don't we know? <laughs> what don't we know? <laughs> thou wilt recall the hunt for Iceheart, unto whose sanctuary we delivered the knowing, uh, owing to the knowledge of our comrade Munbrida. Oh, oh Munbrida. Moonbrita was an uh, was an authority on aetherology, a field of study she did embark upon in pursuit of her parents' example. Both are authorities in their own right, and both are researchers at the confluence. Oh no! Oh, oh god! Haven't you gone to see them yet? No. I attempted to do so earlier. But to my shame, my courage failed me at the last. As it hath the many times I thought to reach out to them after sending that fateful letter. Neither time nor introspection has revealed unto me the words I should speak. And thus have I kept my silence. So they just haven't heard from you in years, and the last thing you told them was that their daughter died? Yep. Wow. Yep. Wow. That's awkward. Whether you come with us or no, it is is your is your choice and yours alone. Shut up, Einstein. <laughs> if it is too difficult, we'll manage. <laughs> your daughter's dead. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. <It's> <laughs> uh... Thou art kind to say so, but I have no intention of forsaking our cause. I shall go to the confluence, and I shall face that which hath long been overdue. It is settled, then. Let us, uh, then let us be off. When we arrive, we should look for a researcher named Kite? Kite? 
Kitey? Kitey? Kitty. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay, bye, you guys. Hey, See bye, Kyle. <laughs> bye. I didn't realize we were going to be having, like, a branching beginning of the thing. Not this extreme. I thought there might be one like it has been in other expansions, but this is a little bit... yeah. Hello, we're here! Hello, Ooh, Kite! Is... Katie? Kitey? What, what the fuck is your name? Um, do I'm you want me to take this one? Yes, go ahead. I have the least characters to voice act, so... <laughs> Well now, this is rather a lot of stern faces, and my library books are overdue- bleh. Are my library books overdue again? Not to our knowledge. We're associates of Kryle of the students of Baldessian. We seek passage to Thavnir, and understand that you can assist us. Ah, the test subjects! Welcome, welcome! I'm sorry, what? I don't like- <laughs> <laughs> Test what? Yeah, exactly. Sub Jacks. Oh, you haven't heard? Well then, allow me to explain. So in order to travel to an Aetherite, you ordinarily need to be attuned to it beforehand. Otherwise, you can't use it as a beacon to seek out while you're a mess of ether hurtling along the livestream. An inconvenient but incontrovertible? Limitation <laughs> of Aetherite teleportation! <laughs> That's a lot of words. But what if I were to tell you that there's a way to travel to an Aetherite without being attuned to it? Well, we've done this before. A way to teleport instantly to places you've never been. For long years, we've laboured to make such travel possible that people might move about more freely. I like an earring. It's pretty. And we've finally done it. We've created a new kind of Aetherite that doesn't require attunement. That's the, uh, the Aetherite earring. The, mm. the legacy one. Stormblood one. Wasn't it? No, the Aetherite's the legacy one. Isn't it? I think we've had this discussion before. I think it was the <laughs> no. pre-order for Stormblood one. <laughs> I think we have had this discussion before. Good one. Truly, that changes everything. Well, my language ha may have been a bit misleading. The user need not attune to these Aetherites, but the Aetherites themselves must have been pre-attuned to each other, thereby facilitating travel between the two points. But it just so happens that our first test pair of Aetherites, one has been installed here in Shalian and the other in Yedimard, a port town in Thavnir. As you may know, our nation has long maintained strong ties with Ratzahan, and indeed, we owe much of this breakthrough to the contribute contribute I cannot speak for today. <laughs> contributions of their alchemists. So to sum up, we're to test these aetherites. How fortuitous for you. I should mention that an accident has impaired my ability to channel aether. Will this be a problem? Not at all. As a matter of fact, you might say these Aetherites were made for people like your good self. The magics imbued within will whisk you away without any effort on your part. A veritable dream come true. And far be it for me to worry about such things. But do we have permission to make use of your shiny new invention? Yeah, what's so the what's catch? The catch? <laughs> yeah. the catch is it might not work. That's the yes. catch. <laughs> the only permission required is yours. So assuming you're willing... We're all set. It may come as a surprise, but we actually struggle to find test subjects. Most people seem to have an unreasonable fear of their souls gradually disintegrating as they drift helplessly in the live stream, in the statistically unlikely event that something goes awry. Unreasonable, hmm? Mm. Yeah, totally but it's unreasonable. that you're, mm. you aren't most people. <laughs> Mistress Crowd truly knows how to pick them. Mm. Well... If I might change the subject, our master Wilf Wilfson and Mistress Blueweeda not present today? Oh, you didn't hear? They've recently resigned their posts. Their expertise was needed elsewhere. 
a large-scale project held, held by the forum itself, as I understand. But I'm not privy to the details. Interesting. So here. I see. Mm. Any other questions? No? Then let's get going before you change your minds. Please see to your preparations and head outside to the Aetherite Plaza. Plaza. I'll be along shortly. Oh, so we're not taking this one? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Apparently not. I thought we were taking that one. <laughs> we're about to get the night theme again. Yeah. Oh yeah. I assume that night coming. Real oh. Shay? Real Shay? The words unsaid yet weigh heavy on my heart. I shall devote mine all to our task in Thavnir. I'm sure we'll bump into them eventually. Oh, definitely. Given my expertise, or my experience with teleportation, I'd be lying if I said I didn't have reservations, but I will trust in Kryle. I trust Kryle. I don't trust yeah. fucking Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> I shall teleport the tried and trusted way. Good luck. Oh, have you been to Thavnir before? Have you yeah, he has. Yeah, he said that. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I don't pay attention to what Einstein says. <laughs> <clearly. laughs> Hydrate. 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 Oh, oh God! Oh, goodness. goodness, she sounds like Jesus. That's definitely not the voice I was doing. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, play. Should have gone a bit more high pitched. And a bit more cockney. Just yes. the four of you, was it? Three. I am already attuned to the crystal in Thavnir. You are. Oh. I would have preferred more test subjects. <laughs> Love, I know her You're already voice. risking oh, well, three years' lives. If our three travelers could line up here, please. Yeah, it does sound very familiar. I know. I'm like, I've ah. heard this character before. Yes. Bye, Sinian. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't yes, bug all for us. Fine. No, it doesn't. Take a deep breath. And I'll soon have you soaring through the ether. Mm. No, it sounds I think... like a character out of Fable. Yes. I think it might be the lady who voice acted Sarah in Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh, here we go. Oh, and one last thing. What? You might experience a teensy weensy touch of violent ethereal sickness. <laughs> Good luck. Never mentioned it. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> oh, poor Thanker, it's gonna be so traumatized. Now an instance, another instance now. <laughs> hey, I'm an instance three of Thavnir. Good lord. From one new place to another. <laughs> Well then. <laughs> Just halfway across the world. Thavnir, home to city-state Rads at Han. Rising from the southeast waters of the Bounty, this Isle of Plenty served as the battleground for a conflict between two peoples. Their cultures bled into one another until a unique amalgamation was distilled from the chaos in a process not unlike their precious alchemy. Mm. Once solidified as a single nation, an adamant oh. stance of neutrality would hold invaders at bay. I feel like it's not meant to be this foggy here. Yeah, yeah I think the weather's foggy. <laughs> oh. Hey, oh no. Now Why am I here this first? Vibrant mm -hmm. isle creeps a fog. Of malice. Oh what God. choice do you have? Oh. oh dear. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stereo. <laughs> <What's that? 
There you go. <laughs> oh, he held that for as long as he could. Oh. You're so dramatic. <laughs> Against such an insidious foe. For all you know, oh he's dead. <laughs> he's fine. So foggy, I can't see anything! <laughs> Ilsa Bard. You're supposed to be seeing some beautiful Great, vistas. we can't see it! <laughs> oh, wonderful. Chased the wrong weather, took us away. Why is it foggy? Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, thank red. <laughs> Oof. Oh, dear. Well. <laughs> Look at the paper <laughs> in the fetal position. Seen fairer faces after a bout of bad shellfish. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Let me bring you something to drink. That should help settle your bellies. <laughs> Thanks, Is it Archon Loaf? <laughs> oh god. Please no. <laughs> oh my god. It looks so sad. My little feet. I know exactly what all of them are feeling oh. though. Don't let Astinian roam the markets alone. He's alarmingly bad with coin. Well, well, well. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do about that. <laughs> you know, if you guys just puke, you'll feel better. Oh, we're gonna get up. <laughs> we got up. <laughs> we must protect our coin purse. Worse than Alfie. <laughs> You managed to will yourself to your feet. But given your condition, will you be able to reach the Stillian in time? Oh, oh no. Oh. We can mount up right. here. Oh, right. Oh. 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 man. Get up. Oh, he's over here. Stupid fog. Estinian, no. Ugh. Estinian! Oof, duh. <laughs> Alright, I'm here. You there. I need three drinks. This is not his voice. I lost his voice. <laughs> <laughs> I need three drinks. That's closer. Something that helps with aether sickness. Um, I can do this one, I suppose, and make all of them. Um, but by the Mansour, a traveler, or I mean, greetings, greetings, and welcome. That is you a have... big elephant man standing there. <laughs> it really <Fuck>. is. <laughs> <laughs> you are wise, good sir, to come to me. My special. Amra Lassi, made with only the finest and freshest ingredients, is famed for calming unruly bellies. By the way, a warm welcome to Thravnir. I am pleased to offer it to you for the low, low price of 19,800 gil. For not one, not two, but three bottles. A bargain among its bargains. Oh, God. Hmm. <laughs> Do you want to avoid the this, Kaylee? <laughs> <laughs> you must stand before a Stinian and using gestures deny that the deal is fair. Oh, oh my god. god. Stinian? Um... Wait! <laughs> hmm? I thought you could barely stand. What do you need to tell me that's so urgent? Wait, I shouldn't buy the lassie. The merchant is swindling me. Yes, he is. Wow! <laughs> S -s Sincere apologies, sir, but I appear to have my prices confused. Exactly 1,890 gil for the three bottles of lassie. That's better. Hmm. That confusion would have been quite costly for both of us. Very well then, your coin. Here, 
a bottle for each of you. Take them to the others and get some rest. Thanks. Thanks, Dan. I'll be back after I've explored the town. No more spending guilt. <laughs> okay. I'm so angry at this fog right now. <laughs> I know. Oh. I can't see ah. anything. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Do we oh. need to drink oh. this? Oh. We need to deliver it to Ariane J. Come on. Jump. <laughs> Praise be to the twelve. My stomach doth loosen its death grip. My heartfelt thanks to the Anistinian and to the fine fruits of this land. Stardust prompt, don't knock it off. <laughs> Stop, <laughs> it. Stop it! Stop it! Thank you. You were in time. Excellent. You spared us Tatari's wrath. <laughs> and your stomach, it would seem. <laughs> sweet, sweet release. If you haven't already, you should have yours, too. I don't know how. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Night and fog. Worst weather for this area. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> right. I'm back to... It? Oh, 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 I missed that first one. <laughs> what else? He said, right, I'm ready to get on with it. That lassie truly worked wonders. Back on your feet, I see. Oh no, what has the he done hair. to Sarah? Oh no. Oh! I, <laughs> I've bound it. Tis the most I could do against this, uh, tis the most I could do against this heat short of shedding my armor. Oh no, please shed your armor. <laughs> May I ask where you got the cord for it? A local vendor. The man said it's a Thavnarian weave, tough and not easily unraveled. Oh no. And how much did it cost? 9400 gil, a steal I was told. Tis nothing fancy, but I've always valued function over form. Good lord. He paid 9400 gil for a hair tie. <laughs> That's incredible. I dare say not even Alphino could hold a candle to you. <laughs> Um, uh, I have the first one. Sure. Sure. I'm inclined to agree with thine assessment. It doth seem excessive, unusually so. Claiming Thavnir as its dominion, the nation of Radzat Han hath long thrived as a hub of commerce. Yeah, there are not many people here now. In the beginning, there were the Arkasadara, a Matanga tribe indigenous to this island. Over time, they came to be joined by other races, and through their in intermingling, a culture rich and distinct did emerge. From alchemy to textiles, the products of Hanish culture have come to be celebrated and coveted the world around, world over. A development only aided by the nation's prime location as a waypoint betwixt east and west. All of this hath combined to make a, a trading power of rods at Han, yet such a status cannot be taken for granted. Nay, it must needs be maintained through judicious governance and stringent regulation. Good God, say that five times fast. I could not. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of which I see as see any evidence, given that merchants at a gateway town are free to fleece hapless travelers and tarnish the reputation of the nation at large. Just so. 
that opportunistic pricing is rampant doth suggest that oversight is much weakened. Or mayhap that the people have fallen upon hard times. Whatever the truth may be, it would be prudent to ascertain the current state of affairs. Prudent and practical, aye. We've not to lose by learning more. So, ere we seek out Kryle's acquaintance, shall we see what information we can gather here in Yedlamod? I think it's Yedlamod. Yedlamod? <laughs> Excellent. We didn't exactly get off to a flying start, but we'll make up for it. Oh, we get the lassie as a meal now. <laughs> Yay. I'm gonna guess it's caster food. It is. Is tank food. Well, oh. good. I'm out of tank food. Well, it's... <laughs> it's kind of everybody food, food it's, but... Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's melee food. Stenium. All right. Is it truly so amusing to see my hair bound? Tis how I used to wear it. A functional fashion. Oh, is that, isn't that the name of that hairstyle? Functional <laughs> fashion or fashion I, functional? Uh. Perhaps you were confused by how you found me following Nidhogg's demise. It had fallen loose after the Chirurgians removed me from my armor and put me to bed. I simply decided to leave it that way for a time, seeing as I would not don the Azura Dragoon's helm again. <laughs> Obviously, we couldn't see it under your helmet, now could we? <laughs> be, thou yep. be thou assured, I am quite recovered. Lassie is truly a boon for unruly stomachs. <laughs> so it's Wait, the dude, you seven don't understand up of in here. Good yeah. God. It <laughs> With a what? What? It's the seven up of Eorzea. Oh. <laughs> Hey, thank you for the reason! <laughs> Hi, Ace. Hi. Cory, the pier is yours. How are you? Koala or Once we have learned. Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Once we have learned what we can, we regroup by the Aetherite. Off putting though the mere sight of it may be. Poor Thancred. I knew it was going to be a traumatizing experience for him. <laughs> oh, there's a gemstone trader over here we should talk to as well. Yep, we can mount up here, by Ooh, the way. Oh, yay! Car! Car! Vroom, vroom! Oh, I'm so slow. Vroom, vroom. Can we fly? We can't fly, no. No, we have to do Aetherites, or Aether Currents here, too. I noticed that was gone in my key items. Yeah, they've moved The crate it. is laden with- Oh, there's a person back here, Kaylee, before you get too far that way. Oh, whoops. The crate is laden with fruit, and they're on top of- On the verge of spoiling, as if they've been left out too long. Well now, if it isn't a traveller, you're aware sight these unsettled times. People have been giving us a wide berth since that accursed tower so they appeared on the run air. If it just stood there and loomed ominously, perhaps things would be fine after a fashion, but now nah, I had to spawn fell fiends as well. We still have our lives thanks to the radiant host, but business is as good as dead. What have become of us son of the gods know? I don't know what that voice was, it just sort of came out. That's great. Ace, <laughs> what hat do you want me it to wear? It was a thing. Oh, yeah, the, oh, the dog song. is in your collection, so. Oh. We can say... It's still fucking dark, though. <laughs> oh. I thought you said frog, because that guy walked past with, like, a frog thing on him. <laughs> no, frog. The frog is gone. The frog is gone. <laughs> Jesus, this is a long oh. survey. This is a very long survey. Gazing out from the pier, you spy boats moored off nearby isles, with the silhouettes of larger seafaring vessels further away. Compared to other ports you have visited in the past, there appears to be very little activity. Oh my god, yeah it is. Jinnalil. Do you want me to do this one? Yep. What am I doing? Oh, recording my sales. Still do it daily out of habit, though I don't know why I bother. Hardly sell anything these days. Business has never been this terrible. But I suppose things could be even worse. I could have a consortium to keep afloat. Like Kyle's out. <laughs> I don't envy his position. 
that it'd be aligned with my little operation, I've come to realise. You're a traveller by the looks of you. If you have a moment, perhaps you could pay Carl's owl a visit. He'd be glad for tidings from abroad. Like as not, you'll find him at the Salt Wind Sails, the Harbour Guild building across the water from here. Yeah. Okay. Either. All aboard. Corey, where are you going? <laughs> to the thing. Just swam across, you dingus. Of course. It's Gaza! This place is so pretty. Don't mind us. <laughs> it is pretty in here. Cutscene! Cutscene! Oh, goodness me. Oh. Oh, you made me on. Sorry. Well, hmm. As an angry one, you want to do it, Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> You're better with angry voices than I am. The Dalmaskans aren't coming! But we already have everything they ordered! What are we supposed to do with it? I don't know, but yelling at me isn't going to help. All I know is that their plans have changed, and that's that. Look, you must have known this might happen. The Empire is at war with itself, and the provinces are in chaos. And then there's the tower sitting on our doorstep, spitting out monstrosities. The city has its defences, but we've been afforded no protection out here. We can't blame foreigners for not wanting to take the risk. Gah! This will be an enormous loss! All right, all right. Forget about the Dalmaskins. Surely some ships are still coming. We have fresh produce, handicrafts. I thought that said handicaps. <laughs> Medicines that all the perennial Hannish... What? <laughs> favorites. Perennial Hannish favorites. Okay. <laughs> Our consortium works closely with merchants and artisans to supply only the finest wares. Quality is guaranteed! I know all the things that these things, Caso, I do. Which is why I regret to say I have nothing for you. All voyages have been cancelled or indefinitely postponed. And you are? Wait, you're a foreigner, are you not? A merchant? Please tell me you're a merchant. <laughs> I see. That's a shame. I'm sorry, but we're discussing important matters. Discussing, yes. If you need something, please talk to one of the others. Um, um excuse me. Oh, oh not okay. Wrong voice. <laughs> My name is Matt Sayer. I'm here to see Carlsel. Oh, it seems he's busy. I'll come back later then. Aww. 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 Elephant Man, come back! <laughs> that was so sad! <laughs> Chase him down! Elephant Man, come back! Elephant Man, come back. Ooh. Yes, can I help you? Ah, I remember seeing you back in the guild. You wanted to speak with Kozo too, did you? I'm Matsya, a fisherman of Akiali, a nearby village. I sell my catch to Kozo, who offers it to foreign merchants, but he hasn't bought anything for a while now. When I heard that the consortium had been struggling, I became worried and decided to come and see him. Just as soon as he's free anyway. He's a hard working man, and I dare not disturb him. Aww. <laughs> he's so cute. I love him. <laughs> yeah, Papa. Oh, I was about to be. Uh, I have to hide my weapon if I want to see what those gloves look like. Nope, still doesn't work. Um, if 
if I may ask, what is it that you do? An adventurer, you say? And you travel the world helping people? Then that must mean you're great at dealing with strangers. Please, won't you teach me to be like you? <laughs> you don't need to be like me! You're perfect just the way you are! <laughs> <laughs> a precious elephant boy <laughs> oh gosh you see I've brought some fresh fish with me the portion I couldn't preserve and I want to sell them the problem is I'm terrible with people I've only ever dealt with Gulzal and I can't talk to customers without getting my trunk in a twist Oh, I love him. So please, as silly as it might sound, will you not peddle the fish in my stead and show me how it's done? Of course I will! <laughs> if you're willing, please let me know when we can begin at once. Okay, we're, st we're not gonna save the world, we're gonna teach this guy to talk to people. <laughs> the events to follow cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. Noted. <laughs> okay. You do it then. Show me how to deal with customers. I'm in your debt. Right, please try peddling my fish to, shall we say, three people here in the Gitlev Martin. I will observe you and learn. Matsya is now accompanying you, okay? Yep, 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 yep. 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 Okay. <laughs> uh, I one. love him. He Me is the too. best. He so is dumb. so and Look at the way he runs. He's so cute. Oh, I love him. <laughs> Don't fall in the water now, my guy. He's, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he'll be fine. <laughs> He's massive. I worry about him. <laughs> Duty, defeat social anxiety, yeah. He's yes. a cinnamon bun, yes he is. I love him. <laughs> oh god, this music. Larissa? Hmm, yes. Fish, fish, I got fish here. Fish, fish, straight from the sea's bosom to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, are we going with that one? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait! <laughs> Why? Why? Why Final Fantasy? Why do you phrase things like this? <laughs> they know what they're doing. They must know. <sighs> Wait, you went with that one? I got it with that one. His response! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, I'm sure your bosom fish are very fresh, but this is rather sudden. I don't need any fish right now, so thanks, but no thanks. I'm sure you're no. fish are very fresh, but this is rather sudden. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh my god. Uh, uh, the, the, the. <laughs> oh my god, that killed me. Fuck. <laughs> oh god. I'm a, a child. Oh my god. N never mind. It never goes well. I'm sure you'll fare better with the next customer. You're <laughs> okay, so please. sweet. I love you. Please don't give us more joke options. Please. Holy fuck, yeah, let's not pick the next oh. joke option. Oh my god, Reaper's <laughs> leaving their fucking portals everywhere. <laughs> Kayla, you're back in, in the car. Business. We're going fish selling. <laughs> Is, but what about him? Get in my bosom, bitch! <laughs> but, you follow. But... <laughs> He's following, see? <laughs> oh, well, he stopped. Oh. oh, he stopped. Oh, come on, oh. come on, dude. Come on, come on. You got it. You, you can do it. Oh, 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 that's oh, that's it. Oh, come on. Come on, Matsya. You can do it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Okay. <laughs> Christ. Matsu is beginning to question his decision to ask you for help. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A hawker are you? Do you sell fruit by chance? What'd you call me? If so, I want to buy some Emra. Say it doesn't. They don't need to be export quality. <laughs> Emra Shamra. 
<laughs> Good lord. Um, uh, I feel like we should do the second one. Yeah. Second. Let's teach him to be a normal human, maybe. Well, for eating, of course. It may seem like a lot, but of late I go through that much in no time at all. I'm a stock taker by trade, but with no vessels coming these days, the wares are beginning to pile up. By the same token, nothing is coming in from overseas, but not a day goes by that someone doesn't come asking when the next shipment is arriving for this and that and this and that. All of it wears me down and I find myself feeling constantly hungry. Second one? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I pity you don't sell fruit, but I enjoyed our little chat. It took my mind off my troubles for a moment. You want some fish? Oh, well. Oh. Nah. Oh. <laughs> but never mind. If nothing else, you left her with a positive impression. Let's move on to the north side of town, shall we? We are not doing well. Well, this, this. is not going well. <laughs> this is not going well. <laughs> like... I feel like we're probably not even- we're not able to sell any fish, because I'm like, the other options weren't that different. <laughs> yeah. Stomp, 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 stomp. You definitely can sell fish. Alright, we're just- Oh no, so we we're just, just- stuck? We're just failing? We're just really bad. We're just really okay, bad, good to yeah. Know. Great. These buildings <laughs> are so pretty. Oh hey, we can see the light from the tower from here. Oh yeah. Ooh. Can. Oh, Rianger, what are you doing here? What the fuck are you doing over here, bro? It's a storehouse like any other at first glance, yet in contrast to its scale, there is a distinct lack of activity. Okay. We found an elephant man. We're trying to sell their fish. <laughs> we made we a grand jury. This man. <laughs> We're doing a terrible job right, selling this let's, fish. Hopefully, we can sell fish this time. Come on, let's sell fuck a fish. Me. What is this music? <laughs> I don't know. What is it? If you don't mind, I'm rather busy. Oh god, my stomach! Oh. oh well, I have just what you need. Ate your sickness? No, no, nothing is so unusual. In my hurry to get back to work, I just ate a little too quickly. So <laughs> I don't think the first one is the right option. Yeah. <laughs> Go with the second one. Yeah. Sure. Would that I could, but I can't afford to be idle. Like as not, circumstances will surely get worse before they get better. And so I'm working as hard as I can while I still can. Be better to be prepared. Um. um sell those I kind of feel like fish. maybe the <laughs> first one. Let's go with the first. Okay. Well, it's not like that. I'm, I'm, it's not like I'm trying to impress anyone. Now, if you excuse me, I must be getting back to my work. Take care. We failed. We suck! Oh my god! Why are you so bad. Too. Oh, that's you. Too bad we couldn't make a sale, but we did manage to build something. I'm sorry, Matsya. Thank you so much for your demonstration. It was a truly eye-opening. Come, let us return to the pier. Yeah, so that's... Uh, I was just showing you what not to do. Yeah, so, like... <laughs> exactly. Just do that, but, like, better. Just do that, but, like, don't do any of what I just did. Yes. Especially not the first one. Mm. <laughs> Muslim fish. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> the one occasion where the joke answer isn't the right answer. Yep. Oh. I've made a mistake. What have you done? Corey, where are you I going? <laughs> I, I, I had to lead him down the stairs. Oh, da, 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 da. oh my god, let's run! Let's run! <laughs> Why are you floating? <laughs> <laughs> this is really disturbing, my guy. Oh god, he's so far in that air for me. <laughs> oh my god, he's above you. <laughs> if anything we've learned today, it's that none of us should ever go into the fish market. Indefinitely. 
the, thank you so much for showing me how to talk to customers. No, how not to talk to customers. Though you didn't manage to sell any fish in the end, but the way you fearlessly approach strangers gave me much courage. When I peddle my wares, I'll remember your example and endeavor to be fearless too. Aww. Aww. Still, there's only so much I can do alone. I hope that things will return to normal for Carzal soon. I thought I heard a familiar... Oh, that's Carzal. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I heard a familiar voice, and who should it be but Matsya? Carzal, have you finished your business at the guild? So you were there too. Bless you! It's Chris sneezing through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me. Try as I might, I can't find any bias. Aww. No ships coming in and hardly any going out. There simply aren't any options. At this rate... So you can't buy my fish anymore. Aww. I'm sorry, Matsya. I truly am. But for now, you must peddle your own goods. But by myself, I can't. Aww. No. I want to help you, I do. But as it stands, I can barely help myself. I've poured my all into the consortium, and I'll be damned if I let it fall apart. My friends and family's depending on me, and I can't... I won't fail them. The sisters as my witness. No. Oh, the sisters. But not to worry, using what I've learned from you, I'm sure I'll manage somehow. Aww. When I had best return to my village, my thanks again, and please take care of me. Matsya! I want to buy his fish! You. <laughs> I'll buy your fish! <laughs> I love him. <laughs> we got a bunch of side quests now. Oh god. Also, I just realized... Dude, with the Aether Compass, is there anything nearby? Yeah, they're all to the northwest. Oh, whoops. Shit. Oops. Oh. Okay, well, I'll do. Well, they're both your voices anyway, Corey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mayhap, owing to the island's small size, the tower's impact upon the people's lives doth appear more pronounced here than in Eorzea. There you are. Gotten over the Aether sickness, have you? And thank Red. I see you've been busy. Managed to learn a tidbit or two, I trust? I made a friend! <laughs> I see. We also heard that the tower is affecting many local livelihood, many locals' livelihoods. But to think that it would be to such an extent. For another notable, if not wholly unexpected, discovery, disappearances and kidnappings are disturbingly commonplace. As before, the culprits are almost certainly tempered Imperial soldiers. And, as before, they mean to use the faith of their hapless thralls to call forth a Lunar Primal. Business as usual for the Talaferoi. Great. Mm. Good? Oh, yeah. Helping us... Helping a struggling fisherman you've only just met to peddle his catch. Yes, you would do something like that. Unfortunately, I sucked at it. We found the one thing that the Warrior of Light isn't good at. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fish peddling. <laughs> oh, wait, that, one, that one's the same. Jeez. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> House no. of Divinities. No yawning. That Matsya fellow you were helping. He's Arcus... Arcasadora, is, is he not? Arcasadora, I think. Sure. Apparently, 
tis almost exclusively his people that are being kidnapped. Should he be traveling alone? Arkansas. Oh, no. <laughs> Arkansas, yes. Oh, no. no. They don't let the kidnap our nice friend. If summoning is the perpetrator's aim, it doth stand to reason that Arkasadara would be their prime targets. For tis the faith of their ancestors which prevaileth in this this land, and many are devout adher- adherents still. Fuck. We'd uh, better go after him. Yep. Akyali oh. lies to the west, as I recall. The same direction as Kryl's acquaintance, incidentally. It's settled then. Keep your eyes peeled while we make for the village. Oh, I don't no. want them to kidnap our best friend. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I know, they better not touch him. There's a level 80 blue quest down here called Stepchild. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh, that's gonna be in that's gonna be an Aether Current quest. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, probably. I forgot that's a fun. Look how pretty <laughs> it is! It, hey! Wait. There's sun. Look at all the colors. Oh my gosh! Look at oh my it. God, look at the mountains. Oh wow! This place is so much better. Someone's in G pose here. <laughs> oh, of course. It's oh, so step! I get it. It's somebody from the Asm step. Oh, she looks terrified. Look at the pretty tower in the distance. Yes, so beautiful. That giant beacon of death. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That evil thing yeah. over there. Probably full of our sweet elephant friends. I know. First priority, take this one down. Mm. This heard somebody get heavy back there. Yep. Yeah, the, the eighth <laughs> is Oh, that chocobo keeper, we should talk Wait, to them. Oh, I was like, where'd the destination go? I was driving over it. <laughs> Hold on, the oh, chocobo keep. I never talk to these guys. This music's interesting. I, know, I mean, I, like, I never use them, but I'm like, talk to them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see? There are some fights oh, here that are level cliff. 85. So I suppose we'll be coming back here a bit later. Yeah, I imagine this. Is... I mean, we're probably just going to set the initial groundwork for Thinking them about. figuring out what to do with the towers, and then yeah. we'll go to do Charlene's thing. There's a whole last fucking city around here somewhere that we're supposed to be visiting at some point. Ooh, wait, what's this structure back there? Whoops. I was distracted. All right. You do not see Matsya from here either. Well, how rude. Where is my son? Um, Larissa? I can do this, yeah. No, no, leave me alone! Help! Somebody help! I was gonna say I thought it was Matsya. Oh, it's Matsya! Oh, Matsya. <laughs> Get in, losers. Yeah. Oh, oh, and this We're going to save Matsya. Uh, I mean... We're coming, my boy. Hopefully not get eaten by giant angry elephants on the way over. I mean, we could. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah. Imperials! Bastards, leave my boy alone. Eat Flint. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Very good, got my shiny starter for SPQ. Oh, nice! How many? Um, oh, nice. How many counters did it cost? Thank you, I should say, not cost. Where did they go? Why are you here? I see you found him in time. You and your friends came to look for me? I don't want to to thank you. Uh-oh. 573, good lord, Jelly. <laughs> nice. Jesus. That's awesome. On my way home, I, um, I took a moment to stop and rest. Think about what to do about, well, everything. And then those men came. Kidnappers. We'd heard that the Arkadasara were being 
targeted. Nope, but let's go with that. <laughs> sure. I need to hear somebody say it, and then I can yes, do it. Yes, we need some voice acting. <laughs> Surely you have as well. Perhaps it's best if you took refuge in the city. I feel you have it, yeah. We've considered it, me and the others, but fishing is all we know. The ocean is all we have. I see. That's your decision to make, but you should take care not to travel alone. A question, if I may. Tis our understanding that strange fiends have emerged from the tower. What canst thou tell us of these beings? Not much, I'm afraid. I have no idea what they are. But I've heard that some bear an unsettling resemblance to our divinities. Interesting. Mm. Facial expressions. They're baby mental. primals. Yeah. For that reason, some have taken to calling the towers Zot. House of Divinities in the old time, it means. But they're not true divinities, they're monstrous imitations that bring only death. They have one's faith so twisted in a grievous indignity, and full justified art thou in thine outrage. Know that tis for no other purpose but to neutralize the tower that we have journeyed to this land. In time, we may be forced to contend with these false gods, and thus we would learn all we may about them. Wilt thou not tell us of thy divinities and their true nature? You've come all this way to save us? Really? To think I had you peddling fish? <laughs> Unintentional delivery, but it worked. <laughs> it worked. But... <laughs> <laughs> but to answer your question, yes, of course. We would gladly tell you about our gods. We, I say, because I'm a terrible storyteller and I'd ask my fellow villagers to do it. <laughs> so please come to our village. We're good gods fearing folk, all of us, and we'd be honored to share our knowledge and fish. <laughs> what sayest thou? Shall we pay visit to Akyali? Sounds good to me! Yep, a scale. More Fish. adorable elephant folk. Fish. 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 Wonderful. Just follow the road west and down the hill. You can't miss it. Bye bye. <laughs> Stay close. <laughs> Let me keep an eye on you. <laughs> Stop wandering off on your own. He needs an escort. So, tis the simulacra of Thavnir's gods that are being summoned. If any doubt existed before, there can be none now. The kidnapped Hainish are imprisoned in the tower. I pray that we will be able to save them. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Though indeed, saving them will mean confronting their false gods. Like as not, I, as you said, we do well to study their religious traditions. To Akyali. Akyali. Ugh. Estinian looks so weird. With his hair up. I like it. Oh. Oh. I mean, it's I... sexy. Oh my I god, like look too, at that reindeer biting on that chocobo. That's so cute. Oh, so cute. Oh, that is his cute. His name is Puddles. <gasps> his Puddles. name is Puddles! <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. Oh my god. I think we're about to come up to a cliff. I know. That's going. It's Yay! Whee! <laughs> it's a small cliff. <laughs> it was a rather tame cliff, all things considered. <laughs> it was almost a slope. <laughs> An incline, if you will. A sharp one. <laughs> oh, there's Ariana oh. on the left. What's up, Yuri? Familiar though I am with the myths and legends of this island, to hear them spoken by heirs to their storied heritage giveth me new life. Giveth them new life. Me new life. <laughs> Thancred's over there if we want to oh, talk to him over here. I already spoke to him. That's fine. Oh, I also saw Stinian, but oh well. 
Oh, he's over there on the beach brooding. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to Akiali, my friend. The name means white beach, and there isn't much here save that. But please make yourself at home. What'd you call me? <laughs> a beach. <laughs> <laughs> Your companions have already begun talking to everyone. Feel free to show yourself around and do the same. Any one of us can tell you about our gods, but you could do worse than to start with Kanga and old House Vader. <laughs> They're hey, free hey. at the moment, as it happens. I rain. You got an hey, Anwar right. ad? That's funny. Hydrate. <laughs> I'd write. I think we should start with Thancred. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Thancred's up here. Yeah. Oop. Ah. A charming little vi village. Shame about the hideous tower. Yes, it is a bit of a shame. Though. Yeah. This Come like, on. Nice to Einstein. Oh. Okay. Right, I mean, we'll, we'll talk to him first. Go talk to Einstein, then talk to the other guy. Yeah. Okie dokie. Hmm, you wish to know about our gods. What a curious visitor you are. Most want fish. In any case, I'm happy to oblige. Now, I don't know how it is whence you hail, but our isle is home to many gods. They can be divided into two groups. The Manusi are beings of wisdom who assume the form of men, and the Mukka beings of might who assume the form of men. Could, together they are divinities, their forms and personalities many and varied. Some are kind and gentle, others stern and temperamental, just like we mortals can be. I'm a budding poet myself. <laughs> All are possessed of great insight and experience, and by heeding their teachings we strive to be better people and live better lives and breathe more oxygen. <laughs> 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 keep running out of game, breath because right? of the run on my <laughs> speak with them. <laughs> this place is so cute. Basically, anything that gets close and more or less exploits. <laughs> these elephant people. <laughs> <laughs> Mark you that platform out on the water. Some manner of shrine, perhaps. It's a pontoon, clearly, Pacinian. <laughs> people dive off of it. I think he means the one the, the, even further out. The I mean, the Corey, I'm making yes. a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of him. Oh, you're not an elephant man. Larissa? <laughs> Interested in learning about our gods, you say? Hey, that's what I like to hear. Prick up your ears then and listen. I'll hydrate and say What? What did you just say to me? <laughs> In ancient times, the Manusa and the Mugra, deities whom look like men and beasts respectively, were locked in combat. Eventually, seeking the wisdom of the Manuswa, the Mugra cast aside their own heads and took up those of their foes. Likewise, the Manuswa coveted the might of the Mugra, and so they too resolved to trade heads. Thus were born new gods possessed of both might and wisdom, and they ushered in an age of harmony between the two functions. From then on, as a sign of their esteem for each other, to one another, the Manuswa have worn fa animal faces and the Mugra the limbs of men. Mm. That was interesting. interesting. Switching heads. Stretch. Uh, stretch. And hydrate. I want to see what yeah. Ambas has to say. Welcome to our village, traveller. Is there anything I can help you with? Oh. Who are you? I'm a fisher and a good one at that. I'll reel you in the biggest catch from the open sea or something smaller by the shore if you prefer. Your choice. What is no. happening on the beach back there? <laughs> what is going on over there? No. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it looks like it's a fate or something. That's a lot of angry fish! <laughs> it is a fate, yeah. It's on the map. Now if only I were as skilled with a rudder as I am with a net. Some days I find myself so far from shore that I miss the morning rush at the bazaar. Those must be the bosom fish! <laughs> oh. oh, goodness. 
What is this place? This is the fishing village of Akiali. You can think of it as the fishers yet Lamad, which is perhaps not such a helpful analogy for foreigners. <laughs> of course, we've had few merchants coming to either port since that horrible tower appeared. Not to mention their kidnappings. <laughs> 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 I was like, how do I vocalize a shudder? <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Oh, oh hello, Max. God. Just barging away. I or two about our gods, I trust. While you were off talking to the others, I remembered something that made me of interest. If you could let your friends know, I'll go and fetch it from my home at once. He's keeping one of the gods with him. <laughs> it's it's a buzzing fish. <laughs> oh, you guys in the cutscene. Shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was closing the door. Max opened it. Ah, Max. Stumpy, stumpy, stump. Let me know when you're there. Almost. Yep, I'm here. Apologies for the wait. I wish to show you this hanging scroll which depicts three of our most revered deities. I think I know who these are gonna be. Hmm. By all means, we uh we should like to see it. Yep, it's the Maga sisters. The Maga sisters? You heard about them already, yes. Three sisters. The center oh. one is the eldest, Sindhuruva, a goddess of wisdom. For this alchemists hold her in the highest. To her right is the middle sister, Sandaruva. As a goddess of wealth, she counts many traders among her followers. And on the left is Mindaruva, the youngest sibling. Is that Klee? <laughs> <laughs> she presides over the crops and so is beloved by weavers. Although each is worshipped for different reasons, the sisters are usually portrayed together in these works, which people keep in their homes for good fortune. Hmm. <sighs> in like fashion to the Man Man Manusia? Manusia, sure. Yeah. The deities of Eorzea preside over myriad aspects of life. And what of the Murga, if I may ask? The Murga hold power over nature. In ages past, they were revered as guardian deities in times of conflict. If you have occasion to visit our temples and ruins, you'll find their Max? images there. Max? Max! Max, <laughs> don't misbehaving Max or I'll bonk you on the head with my bosom fish. He was too in his butt. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Very noisy. Among them is a god who possesses a gorgeous head, and he is venerated as the progenitor of the Akasudara. <laughs> and then there are dragons, they occupy a special place in our history. Perfect for Estinian. Yeah. Yep. You worship dragons too? It's said that an ancestor of the Satrap, that's the ruler of Radzatan, forged a covenant with the dragon divinity in ancient times. This divinity <laughs> has since acted as the guardian deity of the Satrap. Legend holds that if ever the Satrap is in need, his dragon ally will fly to his aid. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. Dragon Alley. Mm. No, Diagon Alley. <laughs> <laughs> you claimed to be a terrible storyteller, but nothing could be further from the truth. The passion you bear for your faith is plain to hear. I'm confident that the information you've given us will serve us well in our efforts to deal with the tower. That is very kind of you to say. Thank you. I will pray for your success. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Monsieur.